My Enemy's Demise by Leon Little. Copyright 2010. Do you ever feel like your world is ending? That everything is imploding around you? I do all the time. Mostly because, for me, it did. And I have to say it was the most traumatic thing I've ever experienced. Since it happened, I've woken up every morning feeling utterly useless. I'm unable to do anything. The people around me act as if I'm invisible, and those who don't treat me like the ghost that I am spend their time taunting me. The only thing I can really do is wish that it never happened, or dream up ways that could possibly make them feel the same way I do, especially Nora. She's the worst out of the bunch. Not only was she the cause of my demise, but she has spent more time than anyone making jokes at my expense. So when I found the Grim Reaper on my afterlife doorstep the day he got the memo about Nora's upcoming death, it was the best thing that could have happened. Brandy, that girl is pure evil. The most vain, spoiled, self-centered little witch. I wanted to do something special but can't come up with any ideas. I know you two have a history together. Think you could throw me a few ideas? I smiled brightly. Not only did I have an idea for Nora's death, but I also knew how well it would go. It was much the same as my own, with the exception that she had made the truck that hit me go out of control. My death hadn't been a pure accident. We spent the day planning and plotting. Nora wasn't to die until the next week, so there was plenty of time to get our ducks in a row and make sure everything would run smoothly. Within hours, the ball was rolling. During the next week, Nora's affluent parents announced their divorce and declared bankruptcy, forcing Nora to get her first and only job. As it happened, with a little influence from the Grim Reaper, the only job available for her was the one that I had vacated. On her second day of work, She was shuffling morosely across the bridge, already dressed for work. With her headphones on to drown out the jeering and teasing, there was no way she could have heard the tire on the pig truck blow out, nor did she hear the truck careening toward her. The truck slammed into her, tossing her over the railing before slamming into it itself. It twisted and turned all over the road, losing a fair amount of its cargo in the process. The last thing anyone saw of Nora before she was swept down the river will be remembered for a long, long time. Nora, encased in her cartoonish cow mascot suit, was followed into the river by a bunch of pigs and the manure they had created on the truck.